people, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show, and welcome back to a wonderful Monday morning. Special shout out to all the Americans and all the people around the world who may be watching the Super Bowl because I won't be watching it. <laughs> With that being said, people, another, and I mean another, episode of the Gary V podcast. Now, of course, I don't have Gary V on board, but I will be talking and discussing about his book. <sighs> Wow, I think I did that all in one breath. Anyways, with that being said, guys, personal brands are for everyone. So here we go. Let me paint the picture. Was it last Friday? Not this, not, okay, probably about, about eight days ago. Now, the first time I met this girl, oh my God, I was just, woo. Anyways, I, I won't even get into that. But you know what? She is, of course, a trainer, Indian, but she was born in Thailand, went to one of the best schools here and whatnot. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. The first time I met her, I was like, wow. And then, you know, because, you know, she's the trainer and whatnot. And she uh, she's one of the trainers at my gym. And she put me through an unbelievable amount of hell. And I just I just remember that we just kept making eye contact. And I was like, I know what you like. I know what you like. Anyways, I won't get into the particulars. But we met up probably, I guess I could say a week later. And I met one of my friends beforehand. I went to go see her at one of my favorite bars and whatnot. They have live music. It's just right outside the SkyTrain station. So we met up and she came in and I was like, oh my God. Anyways, we basically, we met up at about 7.30 and I was writing a blog about technology and she came in, uh, well, exactly at 7.30 and we didn't leave until 11. We were literally talking for three and a half hours. My mind was so stimulated that I wasn't even sleepy after that amount, that, that amount of time, like three and a half hours, man, I'd be like tired at about what, nine to nine 30 if I was with the boring person. But as I've been saying, when you are with someone and you're able to mess your mind and just team up and mastermind and throw out all these thoughts and have laughs and this and that with the particular individual, everything changes. Like your mind is so stimulated that you don't even become tired. See, this is kind of like the mastermind group. But as I was talking to her, she's like, I don't know what my purpose is. And I've been talking about this and that. And I've been, tell, you know, told her my life story, of course. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give you some questions. And with these questions, I really want you to answer them. OK, it's kinda, this is going to help you define your purpose as it helped me define my purpose. Now, of course, I did post that on my Arsenio Buck Show page recently probably within the last week or so, last Saturday, as a matter of fact. Um, and I love this exercise because it helped me define my purpose. And so she was writing down everything and she said, okay, I love meeting with people. Well, meeting and talking with people. I love working out and I love, it was one other thing. And I said, okay, how can we monetize that? She's like, well, I've always wanted to start my gym, but I can't even handle myself right now. And I'm like, you know what? That's why you really need to start breaking down your paradigm. You need to start figuring out your habits and et cetera, et cetera. Because without the proper habits in place, you're never going to be able to go forth with any plans. So she wrote everything down. I'm like, okay, do you have a blog? She said, no. I said, you're going to have to create a free one on WordPress.com. Do you have an Instagram? Yes. Okay, let me see it. She has like 1,000 followers and she has, of course, Boy, she is gorgeous. Anyway, she has, uh, she works out a lot and whatnot, and she knows she has a lot of links to India. And I'm like, do you understand the Indian market's over 1 billion people, right? She said, yeah. I said, how many people work out in India? She said, not that many. And I said, well, regardless if they do or don't, if they see you and the amount of stories you told me from when you were a child to what, you know, Indian men would do out there, no offense to the Indians out there, it was a little bit crazy, but, um, she, could be an inspiration to a lot of those people out there in terms of health, in terms of this and that. And Indian people would be more than happy to follow her and to check her out. She's like, oh, well, I know Indian actress. They can actually give me a shout out and whatnot. I said, here we go. So you need to create a Twitter, a Facebook, an Instagram connected all to this WordPress blog and try to update and produce as much content as possible. She's like, what content? I was like, well, eating habits, YouTube um, yeah, going on YouTube. She's like, well, YouTube is a hard game. I said, use YouTube as a platform, not a means to make money. See, just yesterday, I checked out my YouTube analytics and I actually went on a huge growth spurt in terms of 
uh, like, like making some money on YouTube. I was like, oh my God, what? And I was looking, I was like, no way. How was I able to make that much? And I don't know, because I just use YouTube as a platform to put myself out there. And so I could refer them over to, of course, my website, which just happened last night. Special shout out to the Greeks out there. I can't, you know, I can't even pronounce the goddamn city name. But you know what? You guys clicked on the YouTube video. You guys watched a whole bunch of stuff. You guys too did. Thank you so much to, for my uh, Greeks out there. Of course, you know, my educational purpose uh, website. Oh my God. And so I told her this is going to bring your audience and it's going to boost your audience. Now, of course, she is absolutely gorgeous. She graduated from the best international school in Thailand and probably in all of Asia. She has a lot of links to a lot of different people. She has a lot of, what is it, a, a lot of sponsorship. She has a platform already. It's just a matter of just connecting it all. And that's going to ultimately basically, basically create that brand that she needs. Now, I said, do you love working out? She said, I love working out. I said, okay, do you want to start a gym? She said, yeah, in the future. But I don't know this and that. I said, I, it's not about... It's all about getting started. You're going to figure it all out, of course, in the process of everything. And she doesn't really quite understand that. But now I hope, you know, I haven't spoke to her in a few days and whatnot. But I hope she's starting to, you know, understand it and say, you know what? Yeah, if I could hurry up and post a picture, post my first blog, see on what days I'm going to post a YouTube video and whatnot. And she's like, well, I'm not. And it's not about making quick money right now. It's about developing the audience. And, de and just like what I'm doing right now. See, I had no idea that I was going to reach out to the Andorras, the Albanias, the Zimbabwe's, the Ghana's, the Brazil's, the Argentina's of the world. I had no idea I was going to reach out to them, but I am. And so now I got a massive platform. It's just like another platform. I'm going to give you guys another example. Adam Bradshaw, for those ties out there who actually know him, well, he is one of those guys who came from America, Utah. Graduated from the University of Utah, and now he teaches English here. But the thing is, he only speaks Thai in his videos. Now, love him. Love what he's doing. But the thing is, just because he's speaking Thai, he's X'd out the, re the remainder of the world who needs to learn, you know, basically, English. And because he did that, well, I mean, look what's happening right now. I mean, he probably has a huge platform. Probably makes a lot of money and whatnot because he was doing this from the very, very early stages of Thailand and, you know, well, probably the early 2000s and whatnot. And so he came here as a missionary and he started learning Thai. And now he teaches English through Thai. It's just like the Thai teachers. Okay, he might give you a, a little bit better pronunciation, but it's just like the Thai teachers. That's the big problem. That's the big issue. So what I did in terms of teaching TOEIC, the IELTS, the TOEFL, and all that, I'm only speaking English. <clears throat> I'm not going to start speaking Greek. I'm not going to start speaking Japanese or Korean. I'm not going to start speaking Albanian or German or anything. No. I'm going to speak English because that's the only way you're going to learn it fully. And so that's a brand that he created. So he only reaches out to people here in Thailand. And of course him being, you know, well put together, you know, type of guy, uh, a lot of women follow him just because he is, yeah, I'm not even going to get into that. But this is all about brand building, guys. This is all about brand building. So Gary V said in his book, and I'm going to quote it, he said, isn't it cool to know there is no prescribed route? If you're a project manager who'd rather be a bookkeeper, for example, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, you could launch a nature-oriented podcast and blog with perceptive, humorous, creative content and amplify your voice in all kinds of arenas beyond bees. Then you could start producing how-to videos or write a book about starting in the biz, ensuring that your knowledge is passed on to the new generation of bookkeepers. You'd be sharing important information and growing your personal brand at the same time. And then you could be asked to host a special on Animal Planet or National Geographic. Could, and you know what? Could call, or, you know, National Geographic could call and say they want to do a feature. And as your personal brand grows, you might develop a recipe for a new honey flavored candy, lip balm, lozenge, or yogurt. You might create a new bug spray or skin regimen or design bee branded tote bags and gardening materials. Or you may get a direct message on Instagram from a fashion model named Carly Claus, who turns out to be, you know, super into the bee culture. And the tag selfie you take together not only boosts your book sales 
from 300 to 30,000, but also it sparks the next chapter of your career. See, that really happens, people. Use today's social media platforms to develop your brand, expand your influence, and you could build a business that could continue to grow even if you never touched another hive. End quote. I love that quote. You know, my, um, one of my very first year, well, yeah, my very first year teaching at this particular language center that I still work at for the next couple of months, uh, there was a girl by the name of Gift. She's now going to university. Um, but at the age of 15, she was selling, I think, lotion or skin whitening cream. I don't, I don't even know. Skin whitening cream, regardless what it is, it, the thing is, it's a platform, right? A lot of people want to turn white here in Thailand for whatever reason, right? And so she was selling that. And at the age of 15, she was making 2000 US dollars a month. Can you believe that? And to make the cream was only 600 US dollars a month. So she profited 1400 US dollars per month. Pretty remarkable, huh? See, a lot of people do not understand the, that social media and especially selling things and giving excellent service, man. This is all for you and for the taking. See, that's why going back to, of course, my, you know, the friend Jody, the trainer, the Indian girl, um, she's like, oh, well, what videos can I make? And I'm like, do you know how many women out there in India? And the thing is, you're, she's Indian. Now, does she speak Punjabi or anything like that? Probably not. But I'm just saying, use it as a platform. She already has 1,000 organic followers on Instagram, not paid. So if she could hurry up and create a YouTube and start doing at least, you know, one, two, three weekly videos or whatnot, it's going to spark, guys. It's kind of like me right now, right? I kind of went on a slump over the last five days, but this morning, I'm literally going to make probably between three and six videos for YouTube. No, I'm not going to upload them all, all on the same day, but I'm going to have something different to upload as the next week progresses. See? See how smart that is? And so... Am I going to get 100 views or 1,000 views or 10,000 views on my first video? Absolutely not. I'm not. But you know what? At the same time, those little small views are the difference makers. Because when I actually go on and see the shares and whatnot, I get a share at least every day. And it's because someone around the world finds my information valuable. And all it's going to take is a something to set it off. I feel that it got set off a little bit last night. Because I got a whole bunch of blog views from people in Greece. And I had a whole bunch of, what is it? Yeah, a bunch of YouTube clicks from people in Greece. I told you guys recently about uh, a little small town in Maine. It said complete, I said finish the past, complete the past in one of my podcasts. And there were five views from this little small town in Maine. Do you think that was just one person? Could be. But I believe that one person found my information valuable and they shared it. See, it's all platform, guys. You have a platform. Whatever you're doing right now as an entrepreneur, you can create everything. As I said, I told you guys this story about Natakul. And so many people have been clicking on it because this is a 15-year-old girl that I teach on a week on, on a weekend basis. And, of course, she found... Of course, um, what is it? She found English to be very, very boring. I'm like, okay, let's focus on something that you can use as a platform. And I said, okay, well, you draw, right? She's like, yeah. I was like, okay, let's look up all these hashtags. She got all the hashtags. We created a post. And the next thing you know, someone hurry up and shout her out. She was like, and they asked, they said, hey, is this yours? We would like to feature you in a draw and da, 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 da. And I said, absolutely. And so I did. And you know what? Coming up next week, it's going to be amazing. You, not even that. Let's go back. Let's rewind for uh, probably another year or probably a year and a half. I was teaching a wonderful, remarkable individual by the name of um, Kim Kim. I love her to death. She actually interviewed me on my own podcast uh, a little bit ago. You guys can look that up on Spreaker with a R dot com. And she had uh she was doing like uh stationary products and how to do study notes and whatnot and of course she could buy a lot of this stuff at a place called god damn it it starts with four letters and it's yellow ah uh, loft there we go loft okay so she buys all these stationary products there and she says she did a post all organic reach within probably a couple weeks she had three thousand likes on one photo and these people and these youngsters from all over the world were reaching out to her why because her business is based and predicated off 
studying. So people who are studying either it could be in, of course, primary school, secondary school. I'm talking about the, you know, what is it? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm speaking in the British tone. Elementary school, middle school, high school, and even in college, they could use this to help them. And so now she has a ridiculous basis. She's like, she told me just recently, I told you guys in this podcast, in uh, well, a recent podcast. She's like, I'm sick of school. She said, I want to hurry up and start my own business. She's 17 years old. And I'm like, oh my, no, she's not even 17. She's 17 like next month or something like that. And I'm like, okay, listen, you're going to graduate with a BA by the age of 18. Okay, guys, let here, let me repeat that for those Americans out there. She's going to graduate with a BA by the age of 18. And then I'm like, okay, but the thing is, if you keep continuing, you know, school and whatnot, it has to be beneficial to you. You know, if you're going to get a master's, that master's has to teach you practicality. But schools don't teach that. So I said, don't go to school then. You already got a BA. Start your business because you already got a ridiculous follow on your stationery. And I'm like, you need to create a YouTube. You need to create a blog. You need to do this. You need to do that. So the next time I meet up with her, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to create. Oh, she actually already has a website at the age of 16. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Ah. So a lot of, you know, uh, went for an interview. I'm just going to throw that out there. Went for an interview yesterday. And the guy was saying, oh, we focus primarily on, you know, this test prep. And I'm like, ah. Now, this might be a good job for probably two to four months or whatnot. But after that, I think I'm going to take all the knowledge I could get from it. Because ultimately, everything that they do in that school, I'm going to do it on my website and reach out to everyone around the world, not just in one specific area in Bangkok. You know what I mean? Because I'm a brand now. It's like, okay, uh, I, you know, the, the money, whatever, hourly rate, that's all good for, you know, the present in a micro, in a micro way of, you know, looking at it. But the macro is to sell all these PDFs and stuff online and to get all the knowledge. This particular being I deem to be, you know, that I could use to my advantage and put it on my website. That's all it, that's all it comes down to, guys. I'm building a brand right now. Brands are for everyone. For everyone. And so I hope you guys found this information useful. Whatever you're doing out there, you guys could literally monetize it. Monetize your passion, Gary V says. And with that being said, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening as always, man. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time around the planet. And if you guys like this, share it, whatever, do as you will. And until then, have a wonderful, I'm going to say it again, a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Your host, as always, Arsenio Buck, over and out.